Welcome to another video in this QuickBooks Online training series. This series is all for free. Thank you so much for being here. Any likes, any subscriptions to the YouTube channel are appreciated. It's all for free. Like and subscribe. Just a quick recap of what's been covered so far. So heading over to the website freebookkeepingaccounting.com This is what's been covered so far. So I gave you an introduction to QuickBooks Online. I showed you how to add a company logo and business details, contact information to QuickBooks Online. We had a look at the chart of accounts, viewing the chart of accounts, viewing specific nominal codes, adding new nominal codes, editing nominal codes. We then had a look at the bank accounts, adding bank accounts, including uh, the bank feed. And then we moved into the customer section of QuickBooks Online, and that's where we still are. So I've shown you so far how to add new customers, how to edit customers. And in the previous video, part 10, I showed you how to add products and services which are needed to raise invoices on customer accounts, which we'll be doing shortly. So carrying on with this series, we're now going to view customer accounts. So on the invoicing sidebar here, I can click on customers or I can simply just click on invoicing and then choose the customer tab here. Either way, it takes you to the same screen, which is this screen. Here's a list of customers. In a previous video, I showed you this list and I showed you how to add a customer. So I've added a customer here, which is example customer one. Now to view this customer's account, all we need to do is click on the customer account. We will then view the activity on this customer's account. So there are no transactions currently showing in this list. But as we raise invoices, as we record payments to this customer's account, those transactions will appear in this list by default in date order. So as I start raising invoices, as I start recording payments, you'll see lines appear in this activity and perhaps we'll go through it in a bit more detail. So just a quick video just to show you how to access the customer account. In the next video we will start re recording customer invoices on QuickBooks Online.